these big celebrities that went to a Diddy party, okay? And I wanted to go work so hard so I could go to a Diddy party. If that whole thing happened after I went to a Diddy party, I would have been okay with it. Like, I wanted to go to a Diddy party. I, I hear about Diddy party. Breathe. He's lit. Breathe. Breathe. He's not breathing. He's lit. Like, party's not over till 9 in the morning. I don't care what they're doing. I was down. I, I still want to go to a Diddy party. I'm, I'm over it. It's not going to happen. Y'all killed my dream and a lot of other people dream. Or y'all celebrities just have y'all fun already. Don't act like y'all mad now because all these celebrities. <laughs> okay, Salawam, Salawam. Kwam Yashala, Kohaloyim La, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rechaha Kodash, the honors to our apostles. An elder is a great millstone who rule well, and thereby the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that is out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawa, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the spirit and it's entitled Laughing Out Loud Thought for Real, y'all. I still want to go to a Diddy party, and hey, <laughs> it's E. Yeah, you, I, I can see you there. By the first second drink, that little zipper would have been all the way down with them things bouncing. And ain't no telling what else been happening to your ass. But hey, this this this, this is the nature of um, our women in this society, in this um this the so-called white man's kingdom. And we need out of here, man. Cause you you can't what what else are you gonna do with say if this lady had kids, what you think is gonna be going on with some kids that she had with this kind of thinking? She's gonna bring along some old simple ass simp. I love my mama ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Emotional as hell into the world. And probably when he, and going to a Diddy party, probably wouldn't even wouldn't even know who the dad is. After letting everybody do whatever to her. Anyway, <laughs> this place is crazy, man. Let me just grab a quick scripture. I'm not gonna keep this long. I was kind of scrolling through the news and just trying to find something to get into, you know, as far as a, a lesson. And and lo and behold, there's Eve, man. Isaiah 32 and 9, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. Which means, hey, it's time to repent. It's high time to awake out of sleep and cut the bullshit out. See, a nigga like Diddy is being put on blast to show you, hey, y'all need to come out of them lifestyles, man. Y'all need to come out of them works of darkness. Matter of fact, let's get that in uh, Romans 13. Romans 13 and 11 in verse 12. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. If you got any inkling or if you've ever been to a freak party or a freak fest or any of that bullshit, you need to be repenting to the Lord. Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai, stepping away from that lifestyle and, 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 and getting into these scriptures, man, because we're in the last days. Diddy is not being um, exposed for nothing. The Lord is exposing that guy and he's about to expose a whole bunch of other people that was dealing with him. You just wait. <laughs> just wait. Some of your some of your favorite people that you love so much, you're about to see. Uh, uh, that that you, uh, damn! I never would have thought they were like that. Mm, yeah, you about to see though. She talking about a party to 9 a.m. in the morning. Motherfuckers being put on IV fluids and shit like that, man. I, I've been seeing so much stuff from this guy, man. But you know, this is stuff that we've been hearing about forever, man. It ain't, it's this is not like something we we're um we don't know about, man. And to go along with all these uh, celebrities, we the, the apostles. And, and, and bishops and elders on down been speaking about this man for decades <laughs> you know this is something this is not something new just think about it. it she more than likely i'm pretty certain she 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 she's got if she were to go to this party she'd go with a group of her friends about 10 of them or so and they'll all be the same way sliding back to the crib and shit you know what i'm saying easing into the bed with their man after the after after being ravaged by whoever the hell else and it's this this is the society of our people man i mean it's just disgusting it's nasty man that's how a lot of disease go for this dude that he, he he just made johnson and johnson a goddamn fortune 
Because if they just found a thousand bottles of that shit in there, just think about how often he's he's act. This this motherfucker getting Johnson and Johnson by the pallet. <laughs> you know, he probably got a whole damn warehouse with with with, with you know. Still, they probably ain't even found all the uh, all the petroleum jelly and all the other shit that this guy this guy was using, man. He probably had a stash house a stash house somewhere with. But anyway, you get what I'm saying, man. Hey, look, it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's time to come out of. Esau Edom's system, his kingdom, his way of thinking, because this is Esau's way of thinking. And see, in the meanwhile, they've been doing all the freak shit for, for, for centuries. They was doing freak stuff with, 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 with Israelites, you know what I'm saying, during slavery. And, and, and Israel had no, no, um, you know, no, no way of fighting them fuckers off because they were, they, they, they were in power then and they're still in power now. But see, you have more of a, um, a situation now where you can make a decision. <laughs> you know, so to speak, as opposed to master telling you come in here and bend over this table, boy. You know, it's not like that, you know, but but see, Jake love money. Jake love money, man. It's, it, it's all about that bread. Anybody that was pretty much connected with Diddy, they were trying to pretty much um, come up. They were going there to mingle, get contacts, see what, what, what kind of um, movie they can get into. See what kind of um, uh, uh, a fucking music video or some type of music contract or something to that extent. Some they was there looking to further their careers. And then you got people that know that you want it so bad. How far will you go to get it? Well, all right, well, you got to come here and do this, 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 and this. And then this motherfucker got a camera on you. He done recorded the whole situation. He's sitting down with some of that petroleum jelly or, 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 or goddamn, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with some of that, that Johnson & Johnson baby oil. Looking at your video with another nigga. While he's filming. Yeah, I mean, come on, bro. But this is this is the nature of our women, man. This is this is um uh, um what the scripture says, a shame faced woman will be counted as a dog. Let me see. It's disgusting, bro. But I mean it is what it is. You're living in Babylon the Great. It could be in the Apocrypha. Let me see, though. Yeah, I think it's in the other. Let me see. Salaki, bear with me. Con, this is it right here. Ecclesiasticus 26 and 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. You think this chick got any fear of the Lord? She'll probably tell you she's, she's probably clearly an atheist, or she'll tell you that she believes in white Jesus. She, matter of fact, don't get me wrong. Now, she, you know, a lot of these these people that's into shit like this, they'll run down on you that they hey, hey, they believe in white Jesus. They, they're, they're Christians. P. Diddy, I'm, I'm sure he'll tell you he's a Christian. He probably in there praying to white Jesus right now. But let me get another one, too, though. Um, um, let's get this one in chapter 25. Ecclesiastes 25 and 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. See? And the reason why um, um, this lady, she feels the way that she feels is because she has the liberty to gad abroad. She's an American and a so-called white man in America. He's backwards as hell. He Anything that the scripture says not to do, he says to do. And if it says to do it, he says don't do it. But at the same time, he's giving you, he's shoving Christianity down your damn throat. Stole America on Christianity. Hypocrisy, man. He is giving the women the ability to, to you know. You got women being um, um, great and fucking Uber ride, or, you know, on an Uber ride being, you know, because it, it's nothing for them to be out. Here you go. You out at two in the morning trying to get a goddamn Uber ride from a complete goddamn stranger. That, uh, 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 these guys don't even have to even um, um, be predatory. They don't even have to be, you know, like like back in the days, you know, motherfucker will be riding up the street and be looking suspicious as hell. He got the dark tendos, dark tinted windows in the car. You know, he, he spots a young girl or some shit like that that he can easily throw her ass into the back of the van. No. These guys don't have to do number pull up on you because you done called an Uber. You're out late. You're drunk. You, you got shit in your system. You in the car with this guy by yourself don't know him from Adam. It's nothing for him to pull up somewhere and, 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 and overtake you. You know? And that's been happening in, in, in America. This, that Uber shit, a lot of people... Been, been getting fucked up doing them Uber rides, man, especially women. Because they're out gadding abroad, and it's not the way that it's supposed to be. 
You're supposed to be at home, man. When the goddamn sun go down. She talking about being out until the sun comes back up at 9 a.m. Incredible, bro. Verse 24 actually says, of the women, of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die. And she looked like the type, if she got some kids, she'll leave them goddamn kids at home by themselves. Yeah, fend for yourself. Here's some cereal. All right, damn it. Some milk in the refrigerator. I got you some pre-made um, um, ramen noodles or some shit. She, she'll, she'll bust up. Five, six-year-olds. They'll put their ass to bed with some NyQuil while she's out to nine in the morning getting her ditty on. She wants to party with the diddler. <laughs> Incredible, bro. And this is not surprising. This is how you know that um, we are in the end times, man. This is how you know it's not going to be that much lo more longer before the Lord comes. Because these women are more and more out of control. The kids are more and more out of control. You got all these goddamn talks of war, you know, earthquakes, pestilence, famines in diverse places. You know what the Lord, all those things that the Lord was talking about, the beginning of sorrows. Hey, all those things are happening. But you best believe you see these big ass, these big ass boobies she bouncing around right now. When shit hits the fans. The last thing you're going to see is something like this right here, because she's going to be trying to cover that shit up. And, and it's going to be hard for her to cover something like that up. But she gonna be out here in one of those old ass mechanic jumpsuits and shit, trying to trying to hide the fact that she's even a damn woman, cause she's gonna be ravaged if she doesn't repent, you know. If she's not seeking the Lord for uh, for for protection, yeah, how about she me outside? These are the days we're living in, man. So I don't want to keep this long. I just wanted to do something quick, real quick. I saw this and I'm like, God damn, and it's not surprising. She went on a full-fledged rant. There's people in the backdrop. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody there was agreeing with her. But she's pretty much letting you know her position. She like, shit. I still want to. I don't care what he done. I still want to go. And she went on to say something to the extent of, well, I'm, you know, even the, the freaky parts. I would, you know, I wouldn't have been all in. All in. Yeah, all right. You don't know what you would have been into had you been at that damn party. You know, or any of those parties, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what the, what this motherfucker, they're going to slip on you. Motherfucker can, 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 can drug your ass just from a handshake and get to rub some, some, some shit on your ass. You ain't, cause you know, hey, them, them high, these are high level demons. Niggas like Diddy, they, they got access to, 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 to drugs that you, you've never even thought of before. Shit that could do shit to you that you've never even thought of. You ain't even got to eat nothing or drink nothing. You thinking that you just Okay. This nigga can spray a goddamn uh, uh, Febreze mist through the air. The next thing you know, everybody is in that motherfucker, you know, falling to his every order. You just never know with these people, man. Because like I said again, yeah, Diddy is a high level damn demon. And watch how you watch when you see him. When you see this boy in court, that motherfucker going to be in there looking like, um, um, Like he's fucking 80 years old. Because you're going to see all them grays. He ain't going to be able to dye that goddamn beard no more. He ain't going to be able to dye them, them, them little 360 waves. His ass going to be in there looking like grandpa. And you're going to be wondering like, who the fuck is this? Unless, you know what I'm saying, he's able to kick it with his 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 lawyers. And, and you know, they, they some of them be having that type of power. But so a lot of the times, they with this nigga, I don't think he's going to be able to pull nothing off. He's going to be able to get him a nice little suit. You know, to look presentable, but you just never know. They might be like, "Well, hey, this is my 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 uh, my client. He has a image. <laughs> you know, uh, we we need his beautician here. You know, he needs his, his style is here. You know, you just never can tell with these people, man, because this place is wicked as hell. But they for damn sure ain't ain't, ain't get that boy no bill. So looks like to me, they treating that boy like Bill Cosby. And, and his first his first when y'all see this motherfucker, he more than likely gonna be looking like Bill Cosby. The old man, Diddy, the diddler, man. And she talking about she wanted to go to it. Hey, his parties is hype. All right. All right. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of people out here partying, man. Uh, when, when the Lord come, it's going to be some reveling more likely going on. Some drunkenness, a bunch of goddamn orgies going on. Because it's going to be all, it's already lawlessness here. But at that point in the game, it's going to be complete lawlessness. It's not going to be no police officers, none of that. These niggas going to be. <laughs> Rave mute, bam, 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 bam. You ain't motherfuckers gonna be partying their asses off all throughout this boy when the Lord torched this place. 
And that's when they're going to know. Yo, what's going on? Ah, what's happening? The, 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 these these big-ass boobies she got going to get flame broiled. <laughs> like, for real, for real. But anyway, man, I'm going to end out there. I pray that this lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashala and a Bible ball. Hey, repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh's Son. We are definitely at the end, man. With that, Shalom.